Okay, good evening, everyone. This is Debbie Wetzler, totally together, <laughs> and enjoying my evening here. <laughs> Coming to you live from Maryland, and um, and I am a triple diamond with Asia, and I'm your upline. I'm one of your upline diamonds, definitely. Um, and I sponsor David Silverman, who's a very good friend of mine, who is in Asia right now, and we do our phone calls together because. We both work with both of the teams very much. Uh, and I like to pick on him and he likes to pick on me. So we have a good time doing that. Anyway, um, he's in Asia, so he'll be, he won't be back till the first part of April. And um, then we'll both be doing them together again. We have this team phone call just to keep us together, to get us to know each other, to move together synerg synergistically, to help each other, to uh, form friendships, and to move together because together, if you've got energy together, you're much, you're moving forward much faster. And um, <clears throat> we just help more people that way. And so we have the team phone call to kind of keep us together. And, and like I said, get us to know each other. And um, we love doing this together. And um, we go over any kind of announcements that we have. We go over recognition, we welcome new people and we have trainings and we have special guests on. I just booked Bobby Martin for a future um, in-team home call and they all share some of their knowledge about what they do and how they do it. And um, Bobby's always fun, so that will be a fun uh, Zoom meeting. Um, I am going to get started and do things a little differently. We always do welcome new people to the team, um, and, which we will get to, but um, I have uh, asked very specially because I was just with her this weekend, um, a lady who's really moving up very quickly with her husband. Um, she's very organized. She's very together. Um, she helps with the Charlottesville with the other leaders with Dorothy Dabney and Sarah Sturm um, really take off. And they had 17 guests at their meeting this past weekend, amazingly. And many, many signups and they're just really moving forward. They're just all doing such a great job down there. But she's done a new training to um, let people be aware of what's coming up and, and how to get to Ascent in 2020. Um, the Ascent qualifications are now over for this year and there were 452 people who uh, were invited to go, which is wonderful. But just as diamonds do, because diamonds want to get on their diamond trip, um, we start planning the year ahead because there's so many times, it's just like a scent. There's so many times that we have to qualify as diamond and to make sure that we get to go on our trip and we get so many points for doing this and so many points for doing that. So we start planning ahead the minute they announce it um, so that we can get on our trip. Well, Dr. Hoffman has done that same thing. And I've asked her if she wouldn't uh, do a, a training on that. So I think it will be very interesting to everybody and get people started thinking about next year. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Hoffman. And um, I, during that time, I will pull up the recognition and we'll get started. So Dr. Hoffman, thank you so much. Hey, Debbie, you can stop with the doctor. <laughs> All right, Carol, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess on the Zoom. Yeah. Well, as Debbie and I were talking about at the weekend, um, we came out of the end of this ascent qualification period, which ran from convention last year in September, and it starts immediately. You leave convention on that Monday right after we come out of convention, and it runs usually around to the first week in March. So at the end of that, we had a number of our team who have successfully qualified to go on this trip, and that's really exciting. Last year was the first year that we went because we were brand new in 2017, and we went with the determination that this year we would be going back with our group because it's fun to qualify, but it's much more fun to have your team qualify because that really is um, proof of the pudding that they are being successful and that's how we become successful. So I thought about the fact that we'd had a lot of new people join between convention and the end of that ascent qualification in March who were not yet 
bronzes and weren't obviously going to have been able to make all the qualifications necessary. And I was thinking to myself, what do we need to do to have more people going in 2020? And so we did a, a quick training to talk about that because it is very much a mindset of preparing. In other words, it's not just waiting for them to announce whatever the structure of the competition is going to be for how we build our points. And I'm really hoping that they keep the same structure that they had this year. Um, because there were some dynamics to it that actually weren't so favorable to us because we were moving so quickly. Um, so I think this year has been super uh, fair and equitable for everybody in being able to qualify with points on a week by week basis. So assuming that those parameters are going to remain the same, we look, you know, what does it going to take for you to be on that Ascent 2020 trip? And for those of you who are not familiar with it, bear with me, those of you who are, obviously this is open to you, anyone who is a bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. You can become a bronze during the qualification period, and the moment you become a bronze, so long as you've clicked on that board to say that you want to participate, the system is going to be counting your activity, and the, the points are rewarded for the people that you enroll, whether they're associates or whether they're preferred customers, the volume that they enroll with goes towards your point volume. And whether you've, what rank you've qualified at to be paid at on a weekly basis. So it's not relating directly to your actual rank, but to what you're being paid at. So if you are a bronze, those of you may remember, if you've looked at last year's one, you would get two points each week for qualifying as a bronze, being paid as a bronze. Three points for a silver, and they're really simple to remember because bronze is 2,000 on each leg to qualify, so it's two points. Silver is 3,000 on each leg to qualify, so it's three points. Gold is 5,000 on each leg, so it's five points if you qualify as a gold. And it's 10 points for a platinum because it's 10,000 on each leg. So that is a week by week basis. And I, what I did was sit and look at the numbers of points. So for example, you only need to have two points to actually qualify to be invited to go on that trip. So out of what is approximately 25 qualification weeks, you really only have to get one week as a bronze to be paid as one week as a bronze and you actually get onto that leaderboard and you will receive an invitation to go to the trip. However, at that level, you're not going to get a cent trip being paid for in any shape or form. The company isn't going to pay for you. They are going to invite you so you have that opportunity, which I still think is worth it, to pay no for a phenomenal trip and actually have the facilities and the experience of being with the diamonds and everybody else and really hobnobbing and, and learning a huge amount. So it's a very valuable trip to be on. But if you want to get paid for, then you need to create more points. And I'm not actually looking at the leaderboard um, list, so I'm going to kind of do this from memory, that the first level at which you would have your accommodation paid for was 40 points. So what I talked about with people was let's assume that from the beginning of that ascent trip qualification period out of convention, you have 25 weeks. If you were to have a stable bronze business and you weren't accelerating and moving ranks through those 25 weeks, we would hope you would be, but let's assume at the very least you've established a really stable bronze base and you're being paid every week as a bronze, you're going to have two points every single week, which means at the end of 25 weeks, you'd actually have 50 points. So 50 points is one of the three categories that would get you into fifth place. And fifth place means that they will pay for your accommodation. And it is a, an expense, fully expense paid trip in that respect because you get all of your meals and drinks and everything for free. The other piece of it is that it's going to be based on needing a certain number of points. Um, Debbie, maybe you can remind me because I'm not looking at that flyer if you can recall what it was. I think, was it 1,500 points? Um, maybe on that fifth place point, but you had to. I think it was 500, but let me just pull up the. Oh yeah, you may be right, 500. And the 500, but whatever it is, that piece comes from the volume points of the enrollments. So if you've qualified as a bronze and been paid for 25 weeks, you've got 50 points. 
and maybe you've sponsored two or three people, that will have a volume that accumulates itself and it has to be a minimum probably of the 500 as you were talking about. So I analyze these things and I'm looking at, well, what is it you know, somebody needs to get to be in the fourth place, which was the 70 points. So obviously you would have to do more than just be a bronze for those 25 weeks. You would have to accelerate yourself and move up to being a silver and or a gold or even a, pro a platinum. Whenever you shift in a week, they double those points. So for example, if you came in as a bronze and at some point you moved to being a platinum, instead of just getting three points, you'd actually get six points in that one week. And then every other week that you qualified as a silver, you continue to get three points. The same thing if you move to a gold, you're going to get the double, the five, it becomes a 10. And so those are big boosters that really help you push yourself up the ranks. When we were going through it, we really made a target for what we wanted. We'd gone as a fifth place last year and we wanted to be more than that this time. And so we were always analyzing what our point levels were according to what we were going to be paid at, what we needed to achieve before the end of the qualification period if we wanted to make certain ranks. And so those are things that can set your goals for you. But at the end of it all, the key thing I was trying to share with people was, don't wait for convention. Don't begin at convention, even though it's that 25 week period starts then. Begin now. And so summertime is a quieter time. A lot of people go away. And like Christmas, sometimes people think that, you know, there's less involvement or interest and it's harder to build the business. But for the people who stick it out and dig in the trenches and really keep sharing and building their business, you're going to have, I'm thinking in a sense, like a tsunami. You really want to start with a small wave and build it so that it's big as you go to convention and that when you come out of convention, you've really got the momentum starting immediately those qualification weeks begin. So don't think if you're a D700 now about starting your bronze at convention, build it during the summer now to be bronze and a very solid bronze at least, and if not a silver or even a gold, you've, had, you've got the time to do it. But the beginning piece is putting that groundwork in there at this time. So as you can see, here are the different things that uh, you can acquire from them. So it was 40 points was for the fifth place, and you had to have 1,500 en enrollment volume. It went to 70 points at fourth with 2,000. And you can see these are an increasing number of points. And these are the points that relate to what you're being paid as. If there was a tie, what they came up with was it would be how many people these volume points related to. So we had to um, make our goal a combination of intense sponsoring and making sure that you're getting paid at different levels. I actually, because you were asking me about this, Debbie, I went back and I looked at it. And both of you and I agreed that, in fact, getting to Ascent this year didn't really start even at convention. It began way back because we made a decision at, con at convention 2017. And that decision at, at convention 2017 was what really propelled us into the beginning of this ascent program with a lot more impetus. And I kind of look back because I really hadn't remembered the real specifics. You know, we joined on June the 7th in 2017 and we got to work the following week and we went D700. Um, we went to convention of, uh, in, in our ninth week as a D700, but we came out of that with a commitment, and this is where it really propelled us into this year, of being a platinum when we went back to convention of 2018. So that was our goal. We went to, to convention, and four weeks later, we became the bronze. So we were already getting that moving, movement, which is why we then were able to start qualifying for Ascent last year. So the moment you get into that, you're going to be tracking. So now we were doing activity before we qualified as a bronze and everything you do is being tracked by the system. So make sure that when we go into the next one in September, that you click to say that you want to be part of it because it's going to track your activity even if you're not a bronze. And the moment you open up that bronze, you'll suddenly see yourself pop up on the scoreboard there and all your numbers will be counted. But we made that commitment so four weeks later, we went bronze. the following week we went silver and six weeks ten weeks later we went gold 
we got to convention as a platinum. And so we were really building momentum as we went to last year and we came out of convention already on a roll, which lifted us through getting those weeks to qualify this year at a much higher level than last year, which is what was exciting. Uh, but, you know, can I share a screen, Debbie? Because what I did was I went back and... You can. All you do is hit share. Yeah, okay. I went back and looked at, um, in the back office, I was out of curiosity. I was kind of wondering, because I can't see last year's, but I can see this year's from April. And, and this is the lead in, in personal activity. You can see that we were kind of keeping the movement and we came out of, out of that was the October, right after convention that we really um, hustled. But partly, not only our own activity, which is obviously what was necessary for the qualification piece of it, but the piece that helped us really build, and I'm not certain how I go off and share, stop share, please, was that I was looking at what we did for our team. And it was both building ourselves, but also building our team, because your pay piece is about your team volume. It's not just about you. I mean, obviously, when we enroll people, those numbers help boost it in a week. But it's the ongoing auto ship that really determines what our business is going to be. And so we actually looked at our team activity all the time. And throughout the year, we put out incentives to help our team build their groups. And so we would offer incentives that were, you know, mixtures. We changed them around and we kind of looked at what worked best. But we would have things that helped our team promote, you know, bringing people on as business builder packs and offering free product to those clients that took the business builder pack in a week. We would say, this is our goal this week. Anyone who signs up with a business builder pack, this is what we'll give them. And we gave them product out of our own um, money because we decided that our investment was worth it for the long haul. And so if we had people signing up with business builder packs, they got one incentive. If they came in with an entrepreneur pack, they came in with another incentive. We did some, we played around. Sometimes those incentives were, you know, if you sign up with this, uh, we'll give you a free tube of gel, but we actually got them to, to purchase the gel themselves as part of that enrollment pack because it pushed the PV numbers up. It was better for us to do that than get someone to enroll with a business builder pack and then we sent them the product or we paid for the, that free tube of gel. By adding that tube of gel onto that initial order, it meant there were more PV points going into that downline's volume, which helped them move rank. And so. We were targeting all the time where we wanted to help our team grow. And certainly to get to platinum, we did a lot of that to make sure that we got momentum. So we had a lot of rank movements as a result of it. Um, we put our investment into our group and helping them build their business because we gave incentives that weren't out there, but they could go and say, wow, this week, if you sign up with X, you can have you know, a free case of this or a free tube of that or whatever it was that we put together. Sometimes we did some cash back incentives for people um, and we would just Venmo the cash to the people that had signed up. We did different things to see what kind of resonated either with the, the client or even some of the associates. But we were very vested in helping our team move. So incentives of one way or another are a really good thing to do for your group want to help them build because that is going to build your volume and so you'll get those pay ranks happening and your points will go up but you're also going to help them do the same thing because if we can get them moving to bronze and above and be solidly successful then part of your team is going to be coming with you which you know wouldn't come otherwise and so those are kind of how we looked at this thing but now is what i'm saying to the team is start building now Get your, get your activity going, decide what your goals are by September where you want to be and put that plan of action into, into action so that we can work as a team, you know, talk to each other, talk to us, what is our goal, how can we help you do that? But really moving that momentum between now and September is then going to start that ascent qualification on a much stronger footing.
and do the same as you're bringing people in through the year, especially at the beginning, because if you can really get them moving quickly, they've got time to qualify to get there. They might not qualify at a 70 point level or a 100 point level, but you know, they could get to that point, 40 point level, which is the bulk of the cost of it for the room. You may still have to pay for the airfare, but it's definitely worth it. It's worth, even if you have to pay for the whole thing, it's still worth the experience. It's phenomenal. You'll grow. Um, but definitely it's really nice to have a, set, uh, a CF pay for the, at least the room piece of it because the hotels are amazing. So I think that's kind of it, Debbie. <laughs> Well, I can't thank you enough. And um, it's just, as you said, it's just so good to plan ahead. If this is something that is on your goal and your list to do, and you want to move from bronze and go up, start planning it now. You might as well benefit from, you know, getting to bronze before convention so that you can start hitting, hitting that and getting points for the ascent immediately, right away. Um, Cause it's so much easier if you're a bronze to start with, to get on that trip, definitely. And it's and they do double the points, or they did this past year. If you go up in rank, so if you got silver, uh, you didn't just get uh, um, three extra points; you got six extra points. Um, and so that's always nice. And they do the same thing at the diamond ranks. So just kind of plan ahead. And the other thing I think is that is brilliant, and I've done this several times uh, with my teams is to give it a little bit of an incentive. Just maybe you have a, um, a week that's a little bit less than, maybe you'd want to um, offer a tube of Renew. Now this is when you get to the point where you can afford your product and you're making some money and you have a team with, with people in it that you can do this. But it's always nice to think about doing this um, because if you're visualizing, then that's what happens and your team grows. Um, to be able to offer them maybe a tube of Renew if they sign up somebody that week. Or as, as Carolyn did it, as they come in with entrepreneur packs or business packs, you offer them a little bit more, that kind of thing. It's just a nice thing to do. And so we're just trying to get you to think as leaders, if, if this is what your goal is to become a leader in ASEA, um, these are some of the things that leaders have done and have been doing since the very beginning of ASEA. Um, we used to talk about we used to talk about promotions all the time because we usually we had a 10 case pack that was worth 800 points when I first got started. That was nice. <laughs> um, so anyway, the, other thing, Debbie, the yeah. other thing is that if people are you you know have loyalty points building up, they can always use their loyalty points for some free tubes and use those to be the incentive that they send to people if they don't want to be taking money out of their own pocket. Absolutely, yeah. We, we never had loyalty points getting started either. These were, this is pretty new. So the loyalty points have been very handy to give extra product to people or to, to make it an incentive. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. So thank you so much for that and for letting us be aware of what we all want to start thinking about. Um, and of course, I would love to stand up and cheer for each one of you here for going to your next rank at convention. <laughs> there's nothing that, that <laughs> exactly, Risa. Um, there's nothing that makes us happier, I think. I'd, I'd much rather see you guys up on stage um, and be cheering you on. I love to go up and take pictures and see you all smiling and waving and, and being able to speak and do all those wonderful things. So we're here to help. Just let us know. Speaking of going up in rank, I'm just going to share my screen um, and due to travel and, and some things with the back office a little bit, um, I didn't put out for a, a, couple, a couple of weeks all the rank advancements. And so some of these I might have already mentioned, but I just sent it out to um, everybody and hopefully the leaders have continued to send it out. I would just like to recognize because if you're sharing at all, even just even you have to share with at least two people to get to director, which is wonderful. And that's another great incentive. <clears throat> if you can sit down with your person, if they're excited about sharing this and they get it, and they don't have to wait for their own product experience. They, they understand the science behind it and they see what this has done already um, and they're ready to get started. They can get their director bonus 
which is very exciting. It's $50 extra. Um, and through March, if you help them get it, you get an extra $50. Um, but that just gets them excited on many levels. It's not just the $50. It's the fact that they've signed up two people, they're excited, they're getting people started, they're seeing other people's results, and it's just an exciting thing. So make use of that director's bonus. We always make use of what the company gives us. And they pay for that. We don't have to pay for that. So that's a good thing. But I would like to say congratulations to our new directors, Gaylene Jones, Kathy Fowler, Donna Harris, Gladys Cruz, and Jorge Martinez. Um, a new director 300, which is at least a person on the right and a person on the left, um, with 300 points on both sides, at least. So our new director 300s are Cynthia Kirby, Barahan Isak, Farah Azu, um, Clinton Jones, Virginie Stidler, Mary C. Liebel, Davy Edelbeck, Latita Trickett, Philip Wee, Min Hua Su, Adam Copenhagen Haver, Esteban Orbegazzo, Daniela Mercada, <laughs> and please forgive me if I've mispronounced any names, Addie U. Mint, Eva Fowler, Gladys Pina Fortunato, Emma Aldel, Aldel Karras, Nancy Buchanan, and Gideon and Janie Bauer. I was just with those people in Sarasota. New Director 700. So again, it's person on your left, person on your right. You have 700 points on both sides at least. Um, Amanda Bredy, Zuhang Nin, Deborah Donchez, Hulsan Huang, um, YQ Yu. Vivan Vignal, Richard Lignio Aoli, Wen Li, Ni Win Wu, Vincent Ye, um, Makui Lu, Lia Lu, Redox Good Life, and I'm sorry I can't pronou pronounce that one, Lisa Morris, Pauline James, Babu Nirakulam, Silan Tan, Deborah Frost, James Gabriel, and Emil Santana Turbo. Uh, Turbodo. And we had several new bronzes. And again, I've congratulated some of these already, but I'll, I'd like to do it again. Bronze is um, our first leadership rank, 2,000 points on both sides and three, two director 300s. But Joyce Gladstone, Anna Zhu, Peng Zong, Raj Sharma, Jamie Vineros, and Denise Bowen. And congratulations to every one of them on bronze executive. New Silver, Winnie Lee. Congratulations to Winnie. And new Platinum Executives, Danielle Matthew and Ying Ni, which is Jennifer, <laughs> up in New York. And we are very proud and happy to be working with all of you. Um, please, if you have to find that person. Mute. There we go. <laughs> I think that's Pearl. Thank you, Pearl, for keeping yourself muted. <laughs> Unless you'd like to say something. <laughs> Let me just get out of this place that's noisy so I can be I was in, a, in the seat of my car when I was working with Carolyn. Okay, here we are. Hello. Okay. There, huh? Did you want to say something? <laughs> I just would say to people, it's worth whatever it takes to get there. I've earned it. This is the second time I think I've earned it. And it's just a pleasure to go. It's a pleasure to share it with someone. I was able to share it with, with Debbie one year, sharing it with another friend this year. It's an amazing gift to share with people. And the prior planning, so that you're not running hard at the end of the race and breaking your leg trying to get to the finish line. This set, setting it up ahead of time. And, and I love Tyler Norton's. If you're gonna play the game, know the score. So this past year, I knew the score way ahead of time better than I did the year before. So each year it gets better. And knowing the score ahead of time and, and laying up the game like Carolyn so elegantly laid out for us makes a huge difference. It takes a lot of stress off. Anyway, I've been twice and I've had it paid for both times. I have to pay the, I have to buy the airplane ticket this year, but that's okay. And, but it's worth a million bucks. Being with people, Swimming in the pool, drinking pina coladas. I drink them virgin, but they're good anyway. <laughs> but just spending time and, and deepening the friendships. 
It's a big family reunion. So please do whatever it takes to come. We'd love to have you. And this is going to be your last year, right, Pearl? Because next year you'll be diamond. You'll have to pay for it. <laughs> have to cough it up and pay for the whole thing, but there you go. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. You were just unmuted so we could hear you for a minute. So, um, all right. Uh, um, the announcements uh, that I will make just before we bring on new people would be that, again, David Silverman, uh, right now he's actually in, um, um, not Indonesia, but um, Malaysia. Malaysia. He's in Malaysia. Thank you. <laughs> that would not come to me. <laughs> Drink more, Sia. Anyway, uh, so he's in Malaysia doing a private home meeting, um, and there are some people from our team that will be on it. And uh, oh my gosh, Gabrielle went completely blonde. <laughs> I didn't recognize her. Anyway, um, so uh, and then he's going to be this this coming uh, Thursday on the 28th. He'll be in Manila in uh, the Philippines. He'll be doing four meetings in the office. Again, if you have anybody coming, please text him. He is getting just regular texts and let him know if you've got some people going because he needs to know who's coming. Um, there should be plenty of room, like he said, he did not put this out to any other teams except mine, basically. So if you're on, doesn't matter who you are, if you're on my team, you can text David and he'd be happy to meet with some people. Um, and then after that, he'll be staying there for a little bit longer and then he'll be home. Um, so please let him know if you've got anybody in the Philippines. Um, I was just in Charlottesville and in Bethesda with two great teams uh, doing presentations. Um, again, you know, very, very successful. It's, it was wonderful to be with them and, and they're really, both, both are growing. We had a gentleman on our, in our Bethesda meeting in a complete wheelchair that is starting to get better. He's at quadriplegic um, and it was, it reminded me of the phone call we could go Friday, um, and he is really responding to the Renew and the redox signaling molecules. So you guys just reach out and touch people and continue. And um, his sister is so excited, and she's, a, she's kind of an athlete, but kind of not. I mean, she doesn't work out every day, and then she'll jump on her bicycle and do the Salisbury 100-mile uh, bicycle. I don't know how she does that without working out every day, but she said, the first year she did it, her knees were killing her. She could barely make it back the last 20 miles. Um, this year on ASEA, she went the whole way. Her knees were never sore. And, <laughs> and you should have seen her bouncing around, showing everybody what she could do. Um, so the meetings are very exciting. Terry Latham will be here locally this Monday, April 1st. Um, and so again, I'll be sending out some information about him. It's open to anybody. It will be at my wellness center. So it will be, it's a free venue, but we, I would like to know if you will just RSVP to me if you're coming. I would really like to know that. So I can tell Ivani how many people to set up for that we're setting up for. We are probably going to have a snack ahead of time so people can just come straight from work and not be hungry. And then we'll probably go out afterwards because there's a restaurant in that same block area. Um, so that's that one. And then I'll be traveling with him to North Carolina. And there's a big event in Concord outside of Charlotte. And I'll be with Karen Riley, um, Terry Latham, Ed Weens, and um, Karen's uh, the nutritional specialist. I think her name's Karen also. Anyway, so we'll be doing a big event. Again, get in touch with me if you've got anybody in that area. Um, and let us know. And of course, we make the announcements on the charge up call every day about what's going on. So um, be in touch and let us know what we can do for you. Um, I would like to open it up because I don't like new people waiting too much longer. Um, so if anybody's got somebody new on, we would love to have them briefly introduce themselves and tell us why they are now taking a look at ASEA. Debbie? Yes. We have Mark and Aisha who were there on Saturday. I Perfect. know they're on the screen somewhere. They were right at the beginning. 
absolutely opened our eyes on ASEA. We are Perfect. working out some small financial details and we will be full time on the team as soon as we can get it worked out. Oh, that's wonderful. And we'll be very, very, very happy to have you. But please tell us just a little bit about yourself for the rest of the team because we've got people from all of the United States and Canada and sometimes people from Sweden and stuff. Um, a little bit about yourself briefly and then why why you're taking a look at it. What what opened your eyes? <laughs> I, no, no, that's all right. So we are new to Virginia. We've just been here about a year, moved here from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I had finished and completed my PhD in educational psychology before we moved here and found that it's actually has been so far more difficult to, to find employment as a PhD than uh, I ever had difficulty of uh, finding uh, someone with a master's or a bachelor's. And, yeah, you're too and, overqualified now. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. So continuing to work in some entrepreneurial areas around that and in some private practice, but that takes a little while. And we, I've always been interested, we both have always been interested in health, and alternative health uh, modes. And we both have actually been involved in different um, network marketing companies in the past. And actually, you know, I had kind of sworn off of them and wasn't ready to take a look at that. But uh, Sia and just seeing what people not just the people that had used the Renew 28 right away, but the people who had stood up and talked about the long-term effects of how they've been, their lives have been transformed by these products really convinced me, really, yeah, I mean. I, so, I'll just interrupt for one second. We're all laughing because we all swore off network marketing until, <laughs> okay. and we saw <laughs> what it did for people and we, felt obligated to tell them about it, but go ahead, Mark. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the, the health benefits, of, and I was someone like many of you are, I heard about it many years ago when it was new, and the person that was describing it to me, it was so new, he couldn't describe it, and I didn't get it, and so this is the second time that I've heard about it, and right. the incredible science behind it is what really turned my head on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, Aisha and I, we come to this business uh, in a long-term relationship. We're very happily married. We met in high school. We've been married for 37 years. Our children are grown and we were starting anew here in Virginia. And we just really felt that this is part of why we came out here, just to get reintroduced to this. And we are excited to work it as a couple as, as a, something for the two of us to do. And, you know, Absolutely. we're done raising the kids. Let's do something for ourselves. And then, then maybe we can do something good for others. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's amazing. You've been married for 37 years and you're only 42. No. <laughs> well, we've been 29 for so long that this year, our youngest daughter will be younger than we are. <laughs> I feel you. My birthday's tomorrow. I am the same way. I'm 29 again. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we are so happy and delighted that you came and took a look and you kept your minds open and you actually saw what this was because this is really a true gift to humanity and we l really look forward to working with you. So, okay, well, welcome, thank welcome. You. Mm -hmm, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, does anyone else have anyone new or? To be, uh, it's a slow night. Okay. Hi. Hey, Babu. Hi. Yes, I am from New York. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Um, yes. Uh, Dr. Silverman is in Malaysia, and then we have the business in Malaysia, too? The, the country is not open yet, um, uh -huh. but of course, they're in between two Asian countries that are open. 
And right. so we know product is going in there to people who could use and, and need it. Um, they're not doing a business there yet, but um, we have a feeling that would probably be one of the next logical places to open. So that's what we're kind of assuming. Okay. Well, that's what but he's got somebody who is a, um, he's got somebody who is signed up in another country who actually has another home there. So that's why he went there. Um, Cause there's okay. some people there. Okay. I have another question. Um, is this safe to drink for a pregnant woman? Well, again, um, yes, it is. I'll just say, yes, it is. Uh, they just, they always have to put, it's not even, I don't think a warning on the bottle, but they say, ask your medical doctor because they've never, they'll never test a product on a pregnant woman or a child, of course. So they always, every company has to put any product and, and just say, you know, check with your doctor or warning, you know, do not take this. It, but it's already inside pregnant women. We have many pregnant women who have, who have gotten pregnant on it, taken it, and had some of the most healthiest advanced babies you will ever know. And we've got things on the See a Healthy site saying that the placentas of women who have been on uh, ASEA are completely clean, wonderful looking, very healthy. Um, and uh, Alyssa Favreau is one of our most famous, I guess, ones. She's Denny Robinson's daughter. And she's pregnant. She's due next month. And she, again, got pregnant on it, is, is drinking it the full time. She's very healthy pregnancy. Everything's going well. And um, it's absolutely safe. Alan Noble, if you know who he is, he's one of the first ones in. His wife's second pregnancy, she, was, she took it the whole time. We have many people who have taken it during pregnancy. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You're very <laughs> nice to have you. Yes. Okay. My niece just delivered her baby and she was queasy about drinking it because they don't get it. But she was very willing to rub the gel on her belly as she expanded. I said, keep this on there and your body will do this with a whole lot more grace. Well, I don't know whether she totally understood or not what was going on. She was concerned about skin. Well, I know what I know and that gel was getting through her skin into her bloodstream. And guess who was being blessed at the interim? The baby. Yep. She has a gorgeous little boy. She's, she's come through the earth beautifully. So even if they're queasy about drinking it, the molecules will absorb through the skin into the bloodstream. And they'll both get it. Yes. And Babu, if you rub it on while you're, well, whoever is pregnant, they rub it on their belly. The skin expands much nicer. You don't have the... You don't have the marks afterwards. Uh, um, it goes back down flatter, faster. You know, it's just very healing. So it's all good. Hey, Debbie. Yes. I'm going to actually interview Alyssa on April the 8th. Oh. She hasn't had her child I asked, I, I, la I asked her to do the 29th, and she said, well, that's my due date. So I laughingly said, well, you could deliver a really good message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we've settled on the on the eighth, so I'm sure we'll talk about that, the pregnancy piece of it. Perfect. And we, if you can send that to me, or you can post it on Debbie's Diamond Days, I, I don't think I've blocked anybody. I don't want a million posts there, but um, but if you want to post that link, okay, you're welcome to do that. Carolyn Hoffman is is interviewing different leaders in the company. I think Pearl Bowen was just interviewed. Is that correct? So if you'd like to hear pearls, pearls of wisdom. The wonderful <laughs> job on the pearlism. Um, if you'll send me the link or you or, or yeah. you post it, I would love to have it and people can listen. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna ask one more time before we do anything else. Is there anyone else who has anyone else new or is anyone new on that that just needs to introduce themselves? Because it is hard to see all the people on this call. All right. Well, there were a hundred and something signups on my team last week, but I guess they didn't pop on to the team phone call. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I know you guys are working hard and um, doing a really good job. 
And um, is that, you're on, wait, from um, Charlottesville. Isn't she relatively new, Carolyn? She's come back. <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, um, she sat next to you at the dinner. Sir, um, You're talking about Marla. Oh, Nancy, Nancy. That's, no, no, I mean, who sat next to me at the dinner? You mean Cecily? Cecily, yes. She's on, isn't she? Yes. Cecily's on, there she is. Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Yeah, we, we haven't tabbed her to speak on this before, so open right. up, say hi. So, I'm sorry. I knew, I'm, I knew exactly who you were talking about. <laughs> right at and I went. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Um, and I know you've been on this for a while, but you haven't introduced yourself to the team. And just tell us why you're taking this. <laughs> Um, my name is Cecily Reynolds and I'm from Keswick, Virginia, Charlottesville, same thing. And I started with Renew 28 because of a horrible accident, as a lot of you know. And I love this company and everything it stands for and the integrity that runs everybody in this company. And it's just mind boggling to me uh, that these people exist in a world that I thought was void of these people. So thank you. So wait, Cecily, before you, the rest of the team was not blessed to hear your amazing testimonial. Would you mind sharing it? It's an amazing. A, yeah, thank you. That's really sweet. I had a really, really horrible fall a year ago in February and uh, I won't, give you all the details unless you really want to see in here but it was pretty awful i broke my nose i got a really horrible concussion and the ramifications of that are a whole nother testimonial in and of itself and how the asia has helped me out of the brain fog of the worst concussion i had ever had um but I'll, I'll tell you and this is something i didn't say on saturday you know it's a bad gash in your face when the emergency room surgeon finishes you up and says, I did the best I could, I apologize, but you will be needing plastic surgery. Oh, God. Thanks to Carolyn Hoffman, that's not true. So, and ASEA, of course, and the Renew 28, but absolutely not true. I will not be needing plastic surgery and now I put Renew 28 on absolutely everything. And if you guys were really paying attention at the very beginning before the meeting really started, and Debbie, you weren't there, my, I was drinking my Asia and my dog was going bananas. So I had to bend down and give him some so he would leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yep, smart dog. <laughs> he is pretty darn smart, but uh, yeah, so that's, it's pretty crazy. So, and the other thing I noticed, and I mentioned this on Saturday, was I had a chicken pox scar in particular that was huge that I, I realized in April of this year, it will be a 30 year old scar that's almost gone. And I wasn't applying Renew 28 to it initially by thinking it, it just happened to be in the swipe area for the rest of it. And just accidentally renewed 28 has almost made it completely go away 30 year old scar it's insane so now i'm using it i won't show you my appendix scar from when i was 11 that's my next target so. <laughs> well trish winkler had a 30 year old cesarean scar that completely disappeared but Boy, then, hey, that's a good one yeah cecily's face i guess she she just rubbed her face up as close as she could, as many times as she could to all this gravel. And it was, it was horrible. So anyway, and look at her now. You're beautiful. It was, oh, you're so sweet, thank you. It was, it, the gash was so deep from this old thing that went through my face. Um, when I passed out, I hit a wall and then a concrete floor. Oh. Um, what did I do all the way? So that old thing that went through my face, I had a half, inch thick of scar tissue oh, very that is good. now yeah it's crazy. 
free. Oh, man. Debbie, well, if you look at my screen, I'm trying to show the photo of the yeah. swell of her face yeah. that she posted. Oops, hang on. That she yeah. posted on Facebook. That was her face and how swollen it was. Oh, that's so awesome. I ran down and said, don't do anything. This was the following day. Wow. It had gone down dramatically. Wow. So what? it was swollen like that, looking like a ball. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Cecily, we're very happy that you knew Carolyn and she had already I, said yes finally to us here. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I agree. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, we don't have very more minutes left, so I will just ask um, if, if there's any questions at all. I did post just to congratulate everyone because I didn't want to read through that whole list because there were quite a few people from my team. Very much congratulations to all the Ascent winners and the invitations that were sent out. I posted that on Debbie's Diamond Club. For all the new people, I have a Facebook team page and I try to post everything that's going on and everything that people are doing on that page so you can kind of keep up with what's going on. Um, so if there's a phone call, this recorded team call will go on it. Um, if, in case you miss it, my new trainings go on it. Um, Tyler Norton's training was on it. So if you want to see anything, go to Debbie's Diamond Club. And I guess um, you have to ask for, you know, to be a member. But of course, I'll accept you. And um, so that's where it is. And so I've congratulated everybody for a cent on that. So your congratulatory note is there. I have a question, Debbie. This is sure. Judy. Hi, Judy. Um, I just want some clarification. When you do the three by five with the Renew 28, yeah. and if someone doesn't get um, a good result or any result, what mm -hmm. does that indicate, if anything? I mean, that certainly doesn't indicate that the ASEA isn't going to work for them, surely. No, it just means it didn't work as fast as it normally does for most people. And, and Carolyn might be able to answer this as well, but um, I, we told one lady who didn't, said she felt, didn't feel any difference on Bethesda on, on Sunday uh, to go use more of it. And by the time she had used it a few more times, she was feeling a little bit better. But Carolyn, do you wanna add anything to that? I think it's just the same thing as within our bodies. You know, it's a deficiency level at that site. That's why they've got something that's hurting because it's not healing as well as it should do. So it's just a case of how many molecules do you need to put there? How many applications do you need to do to raise that level and get the thing working sufficiently that those feelings are going to change? That's all. Okay. Right. So uh, it, it doesn't sorry. matter, surely, if, it, if they don't go down to a zero uh, pain level. Um, no, no, no. If they get something, I would think that would be something that's good. Yeah, oh, I think an example I can give you is that I have a client who had a severe break in her leg. So she had this huge plate and about 19 volts in the thigh. And she's in her 80s. So she was in a really, really bad way for a long time. A lot of heavy duty pain meds. And she one of the people that I thought of when I first started using this. And in fact, David was with me. We went to her house because she was housebound because of this. And she was a pain level of 10. And I put this three times in 10 in five minutes. Use a lot of it all over the hip and the leg. And nothing shifted in five minutes at all. We applied it one more time, waited another 15 minutes, still nothing shifted, applied it again, waited. But I will tell you that by the time we finished chatting and doing some other things, within 45 minutes, this woman was getting up and walking entirely differently than she'd done before. She still had a walk if she needed to, but she was moving much easier. And then I said to her, can you recheck what level you're at? You knew you were at a 10. And so she's poking around her hip and the leg. And she said, oh, it doesn't hurt at all. But it took that long. So... Just it just needed enough. That's all. Okay, great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, Debbie. Yes. Uh, Dave Hi, Protestant. Dave. 
Um, not this past weekend, but I, I think I can't remember where we, we last saw you, but um, um, it was you, in Virginia you, Beach. Pardon? Virginia Beach. There we go. That's it. <laughs> but you indicated that you had the that uh, um, that document for um, Olympic athletes that that uh, that ASEA is not on a banned substance list. You call it the WADA or yeah, the World Anti Doping Association. Oh, okay. How can I get a copy of that? <clears throat> I can send it to you. That'd be marvelous. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Great. Um, okay. Um, right. I'll just message you through the Debbie's Diamond Club or something. That'd be cool. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just send it to you. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Anyone else? Is that something you can just Hi, post in your Debbie's Diamond Club? Uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. Okay. Because I have somebody that might want to use it for some athlete people. Okay. Thanks, Debbie. Sure. Uh, and there Hi, was Debbie. somebody else. Yes. Randy in here. Um, I just had a question being a Canadian, and I have um, people that are interested in the vitamins but aren't interested in the business and aren't interested in the ACL water at this time. Uh -huh. um, is there any way that you know of that an order can be placed because they can't become a um, preferred customer without ordering an, an ASEA product? But you want to get it to them wholesale, you mean, instead of them buying it? Yeah, they, they want to get it wholesale and they want to buy it monthly because they want to do the vitamins because they would have an auto, uh, auto shipment doing that, but they're not interested at all in the other products. It's just I'm finding it tough. Because you can sign them up as a preferred customer and they can get the VIA only. They can't get it on their first order though. You have to buy an ASEA product as a Canadian. We can't get the VIA until we've ordered one order with ASEA. Whether oh, it be, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah, so I'm wondering if you've run across that yet. Uh, no, because we don't have that rule. So, um, yeah. <laughs> It'll be so nice when it's not. It. When it's not a N NVR or NPR or whatever. Well, I guess what you can do is sign them up, um, and they could order a an ASEA product that you want or need. Um, okay. And and you can buy it from them or whatever, and then they I could wonder if it would work because it's two different shipping areas. They could ship their water order to me, and I can pay them, and then they can ship. The vitamins to themselves. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Okay, that might work. Okay. I don't, I don't think that. there's any limits. I know if you sign up as an associate, your first order has to go to the address on file, uh, but they could always put your address in and then and make it another it later. address and then change it to theirs. All right, I'll look into that. Thank you. Okay. And you, as a preferred customer, you get a website and a, and a password. So just make sure you know the password and stuff so you can get in and, and redo it, okay? Okay, I'll look into it, thank you. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Well, it's 9.02, I will respect your time and I'll cut off this recording and I